Get ready to match the stars. Dick Martin, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Connie Van Dyke. From Family Feud, Richard Dawson and Fanny Flag. As we play the star-studded big body match game, PM. And now, here's the star of match game, PM, Gene Rayburn. We've got the beautiful, gifted people here. I greet you one and all. Would you join me in greeting Vince Yerens and Melissa Mars? Yay! We'd like to find out a little bit about each of you, if you please. Melissa, we'll begin with you. Tell us anything you want to tell us about yourself. Okay, I'm from Houston, Texas. I just graduated from the University of Texas in Austin, and I'm out here as a vacationer. Have a good time. Good luck here. Vince, where are you from and all that? Well, at present time, I'm living in the San Fernando Valley. My name is Vince Yerns. Yeah, Vince uh, Yerns. I knew I heard right. it someplace. <laughs> uh, I'm married. I have one son. And I formerly am from another valley, the Hudson Valley in New York State. No kidding. What part? In Newburgh, New York, which you are familiar with. Newburgh, New York. Right. Yes, I worked there. Yeah, I won't say the in letters the of the dim, station. dim, dark past. Yes. Right. WGNY, the voice of the Mid-Hudson Valley. Correct. Oh. Now, here on uh, Match Game PM, each of you will have three opportunities to match as many of those as you possibly can. And the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner and will go on to play that big money super match which can pay off over $10,000. Ready? Well, well, Melissa, we'll begin with you and ask you to make a decision here about A or B. A. A? A, sir. Oh. A. Is that uh, I, sir? For a okay. second, I thought she was from Texas. <laughs> the hotel clerk said, This strong man's convention is terrible. Last night, the people in 709 got drunk and threw the blank out the window. <laughs> what? Last night, the people in 709 got drunk and threw the blank out the window. The hotel, the strong man's convention. Strong is man's convention. Charles is always There ready. he goes. Hotel clerk said, This strong man's convention is terrible. Last night, the people in 709 got drunk and threw the blank out the window. They threw the bed out the window. Threw the bed out the window. <laughs> That's not a bad answer. It would be very difficult to do that because, you see, it was a water bed, and each cubic foot of water weighs 64 pounds, as you well know, so it was a difficult thing to do. Oh, you're smart. Yes. It was a strong man's convention. She threw the dumbbell out the window. Right! He got the idea. Yes. Isn't it cute when he kisses me? Yes, he is. I love it. No, I, they hated this man. There was this one person there they didn't like. They really hated him. They threw the president out the window. Oh, I see. The president of the convention. Not president. The, the president, president of the strong of the man's convention. convention. Right. What would Jimmy Carter be doing at a strong man's convention? Uh, yes, it's a good question. I re really think if there's vacancies on any of the other floors, I would really like to move shortly because I can't continually get the right answer. Oh, and this is one for Melissa. Very well done, Sir Charles. Now, Connie, yeah. the, last night the people in 709 got drunk and threw the blank out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Toity. Oh. Well, it would take a strong person to do that. It certainly would. Yes. It certainly would indeed. And as the lower tier Richard Burton, I say bed. Bed. <laughs> what do you say, my dear? Well, uh, you said they were drunk. They were drunk. And in they were strong men, right? Strong men, now, very strong. I put the two things together and just come up with the wrong answer. Barbell. <laughs> Barbell. Well, that's what they used to exercise, Barbell. So Melissa picked up two there. Vince, now let's see how you do with yours. Here it is. Kojak said to the psychiatrist. Oh, I like uh -oh. oh, I do like that. Kojak speaking to the psychiatrist. Doc, you've got to help me. My wife thinks my head is an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, she tried to blank it. Answers. 
answers, and I think I'll put down Gently, both of them. son. <laughs> yes, yes, you have to be very careful. <laughs> Ready up there, and here we go, Vince Urance. Kojak said to the psychiatrist, Vince, he says, Doc, you've got to help me. My wife thinks my head is an egg. Yesterday, she tried to blank it. Well, the obvious answer to that would be crack it. Yeah! Crack it. <laughs> All right, he said the obvious answer is to try to crack it. Ah, ah, but ah, before but. you could crack it, you, you must, must boil it. Boil. Yeah. boil. They didn't buy that. No, <laughs> I did. <laughs> no, no, you see what happened was she wanted a fried egg, so she cracked it right into the pan. Oh, that's one for me. So it's now two to one. What happened with his head, Chuck? Naturally, doing the right answer again. Oh, of course. Charles, you're really rolling. That's two in a row for you. Thank you so much. Hmm. Hello, Connie. Hi. My wife thinks my head is an egg. Yesterday, she tried to crack it, according to Vince. What do you say to that? Every day I play this game. Yes. I invariably come up with the you're definitive an answer. Yeah. Hatchet. <laughs> Hatch is a good. No, now, wait a minute. Hatch would be one of the two or three good answers to this question, so... Apparently, it means nothing. Well, no, yes, it might mean something to me. Now, yeah, don't, mean, don't... Go sit don't... on your head. Huh? Hatch. Hatch, oh, yes. I feel better. Right. Oh. Hatch is not bad at all. What do you say there? The lady and the gentleman to my right shall leave quietly. I s Oh, I said it. Crack. There he is. So the end of round one scores three to two. Pretty uh, tight game going here. We'll continue this game right after we do these messages. Hey, hey. On car insurance. Now we have a score of three to two here. Vince, you're ahead. We're going to ask you to go first, if you would please, A or B. I'll go for B, Gene. B it is. B it is. B it is. Brett and Charles, you do not play. Fanny right. does not play. The passengers on the airplane <laughs> became upset when they saw the co-pilot giving the pilot a blank. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful question. I just like, I like to just, you know. Now, Vince, if you would, sir, the passengers on the airplane became upset when they saw the co-pilot giving the pilot a blank. Well, it sounds to me like he gave him a sedative. A sedative? A sedative. <laughs> Are you trying to tell him something? Bad answer. <laughs> Is he playing with us or against no, us? No, he's... Uh, <laughs> he's doing the best he can uh, now. I know so Yes. Much. What we're, do you say? Were I a passenger, I would be upset if he gave him a white cane. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. That would be very upsetting. What would be upsetting in your lexicon, Connie? Am I what? In your... <laughs> In your ken. A little kiss. A little kiss. <laughs> Airplane passengers became upset when they saw the co-pilot giving the pilot a little kiss. Well, he'd be, you know, taken up for the rest of the flight. Right. Get involved. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, you know, marriage. It's the better whole thing. than the last rites. I said kiss. Yes. <laughs> Turn on the automatic pilot, stewardess. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you Nobody. don't. All right. So here we go. It's still three to two. And now, Vince, we've got... Oh, Vince, you've had yours. Melissa, this one is yours. At the top of the Empire State Building, they have a special express elevator. You get to the bottom real fast, because this elevator has no blank. At the top of the top... Top of the Empire State Building, they have a special express elevator, and you get to the bottom real fast, because this elevator has no blank. Now, Melissa, at the top of the Empire State Building, they have a special express elevator. You get to the bottom real fast because this elevator has no blank. No brakes. No brakes. <laughs> the elevator has no brakes, according to Melissa. It'd get there a lot faster if it had no cable. No cable. <laughs> All right. How did you say? My car doesn't have any brakes, but I didn't know elevators had brakes. Really? I, no, I said, well, I'm dating myself just a little bit. I said rope or cable. Rope or cable, yes. In the old days, they used rope. Indeed, they did. A little bit. Now, Connie, what have you got there? A mess. Really? Yeah. You get to the bottom real fast because this elevator has no... Floor. No floor. <laughs> about 
popular favorite with the yeah, group out there. Over there. Well, that's their problem there. Yeah. What do you say, Fanny? I say first floor ladies wear, second floor houseware. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my old job comes back. <laughs> well, you know, I just, I don't know why I said it. I said it had no stops. Breaks. But of course stops. it would have. What? Oh. Oh. oh, I see. No, I guess uh, the uh, interpretation is it stops at every floor on the way down. All right, here we go. One, round three, final round coming up. Here we go. Now, Vince, you're ahead. You'll go first, A or B. I didn't do too good with B last time, but I think I'm still going to stick with B. You want B again? I swear That's it, Vince. Give it to him. Very self-destructive, is he? Yes. <laughs> Miss Kitty said... Oh, I love her. Miss Kitty said, Marshall Dillon takes the strangest baths. Yesterday, I walked in on him, and he was in the bathtub with his blank. <laughs> Miss Kitty said that. Oh, Miss Kitty. Right. Your light didn't go on there. Let me just push that in. It happens there. a lot to me. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, Vince. Are we ready? Sure. Yeah. Miss Kitty said, Marshall Dillon takes the strangest baths. Yesterday, I walked in on him, and he was in the bathtub with his blank. With his clothes on. With his clothes on. Now, that would be very strange. And you'd walk funny when you got out of there. Because those leather trousers would weigh a ton. What'd you say? No, I said with his gun on. With his gun on. <laughs> Connie, what'd you say to that? I said pistol. Oh. He was in the bathtub with his... Horse. Horse! <laughs> All right, now, Melissa, you must match one celebrity to achieve a tie. However, if you match two, you will win the game. Okay. Are you all quite ready? Yes. Yeah, Richard, you lay out, and Charles, you lay out. The rest of you, please. When the Bionic Laboratory was refinishing the Bionic Woman, they ran out of the original paint. That's why her Bionic Blanks are two different colors. <laughs> Okay. Right. Now we come to Melissa Mars. Melissa, when the Bionic Laboratory was refinishing the Bionic Woman, they ran out of the original paint. And that's why her Bionic Blanks are two different colors. Okay, how to put it gently. <laughs> her... Grande chichis. <laughs> <laughs> Now, wait a minute. That is perfectly acceptable to CBS and to anyone concerned, okay. to ABC right. and to NBC. She said, Grande Chichis. <laughs> Grande Chichis. Interesting oh, way to put it. Right. I said her knockers. <laughs> So the score I at this play. moment. Oh, I, I beg your play. pardon, Brett. Yeah, you do yeah. play. Don't Brett. get us confused. Yes, well, I Please. saw this. My right life is hard there. enough. So the score is tied this. three to three, and you can win the game for her but, yes, if that's you show my another intention. pair. <laughs> another Do I have to disrobe? No. Oh, oh, I got La Grande Boo. There it is. <laughs> You hang around right here. Don't go away. While we say goodbye, Vince Yurin's got to shake your hand. Thank You're you a nifty me. kid. We thank you for being here on Match Game PM. Vince Yurin's, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes. Now we're spinning him off. We want to spin these messages just for you. This <laughs> here we are now, and it's time for the Big Money Super Match, where this lady, Melissa Mars, can win over ten thousand dollars. Now, to do that, <laughs> Melissa, we have two audience matches for you. I want to point out. Whatever you win in these audience matches, you'll have a chance to multiply by 10. That'll be the final dollar figure you will be playing for. And here we go with the first one. We polled a studio audience not too long ago, and we said, write down your best response to this. School of blank. Now, if you match the answer they gave us most frequently, you get $500. For matching their second most popular answer, you get $250. 
And then for matching the third, you get $100. And the rules say that three of the six celebrities can help by suggesting answers. Okay, Charles, Connie, and Richard. Oh, well, she gets that right to quick. it. Charles, Connie, and Richard. All right, Charles. Okay, what I came up through, Gene, in New York, the School of Hard Knocks. Yeah. School of Hard Knocks. All right, you got one now. Connie, what is yours? School of Fish. School of Fish. All right, we have School of Hard Knocks and School of Fish. What do you say now, Richard? Third is tough. But he'll come up with something. What? Because he's thinking very hard. Look at him school thinking. School of thread? No, it's that's a spool of thread. Spool. Oh. Perhaps <laughs> 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 at all. Never mind. Now wait a minute. An idea may come from up above. Oh, okay. No, I'm gonna say school of dance. That's good number. School three. of dance is There's tough. All right. Hard knocks, no. fish, and school of dance, Melissa. Now, your option at this time to choose one of those or reject them all and give us one of your own. I'd say school of thought. School of thought. School of thought is not bad. That ought to be up there someplace. I don't know whether it's going to be on top, but we'll find out. What would you say? Hard knocks. Fish. Uh, fish and hard knocks. Cut. Here we go. Let's go down to the bottom there and reveal the $100 response. Thought it is right off the bat. You got it, Melissa. Now, let us reveal the $250 response. Hard knocks. Okay, there's Charles' answer. You think it's going to be fish? Okay, slide it. You've won $100, which means the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $1,000. So, okay, you're, you're uh, really kind of home free now because everything from here on out is gravy. We uh, pulled the studio audience again. Let's go with your second audience match now. And we said, give us your best response to this. Stranger blank. All right, let's see what sort of help you'll get this time. Any, any? Uh, one at a time, if you would, please. <sighs> Fanny, Richard. No. What? I say one at, one at a time. time. Oh, say yeah. you want okay. Fanny, first. Fanny first. Okay. Fanny first. Fanny first. <laughs> yeah. Fanny last. St Fanny last. Yeah. Okay. Gosh. Stranger than fiction. Stranger than fiction is one response. Um, Brett. Brett. There are two. There are two. Uh, Hello. Is that all you have? No, I thought. I thought about. I think Stranger in the Night. Richard. Well, Richard, again, you're in the lucky minute, position oh, of being oh, oh, number three. Wait a minute. Stranger, stranger, wait a minute, oh, stranger wait a minute, of thread? Stranger, no, it's strength. Stranger, stranger in a fight? That's, she's already said strange. Oh, something happened from above. They, what happened? They, it rained. It's, oh, it rain, it's raining answers. I don't An know. idea just came to you. What about the Alfred Hitchcock film, Strangers on a Train? Strangers yes. on the Train. Robert Stranger. Walker, Farley oh, yeah. Granger. Stranger on a thread? No, don't give me a hard time. <laughs> okay, stranger than fiction. <laughs> stranger in the night and strangers on a train. Now, Melissa, again, you have a choice of one of those or one of your own. You know the rules. I'll say stranger in the night, even though it's plural, strangers. Yes. The song is strangers, but you're going to assume that the audience who was here that day would say stranger in the night. Let's find stranger out if she's right. Night. We'll begin at the bottom here, Melissa, and we'll reveal the $100 response. Stranger than fiction is the answer that Fanny gave you. Didn't well, I say so? Yes, you said that, honey. May we see the $250 response? Stranger in paradise. Oh, there's a good one. We're looking for stranger or strangers in the night. May we see the big one? Yeah! Five thousand dollars. Add that to the thousand dollars you won previously. That gives you a pot of six thousand dollars to shoot for, Melissa. And we will indeed give you that sum of money if you will match one celebrity exactly. You have to choose one now. Richard. 
Okay. Strangers and threads. Too late. <clears throat> oh, stand on the blue dot there and face me if you would, please. This way. All right, here we go. It's worth a lot of money to this lady. Good luck to you, Melissa. It reads as fathers. Uh, fine. <laughs> it reads as You'll understand why in a second, because it says here, father and blank. Got ahead of myself a little bit. Father and blank. All right, he made up his mind quickly. Now you take your time, think it over, give us an answer that matches his, and we give you $6,000. Father and... Son. Father and son. Richard, she says father and son will match you for $6,000. What do you say? I thought you were thinking of your parents, father and... Oh, son. <laughs> when you have the... Hey, watch this. Face the Inquisitor on Inquisition and enjoy Bert Ludden's Love Buffet, followed by the new Newlywed Game. If you'll join us next week here on Match Game PM, we guarantee to have more excitement for you. We're going to try and give away a lot more money, and we'll have more beautiful people like these here, right here on Match Game PM. I'm Gene Rayburn. Tally ho! Some contestants will receive... The Codafone Message Center, a beautiful decorated telephone with built-in automatic answering system. You'll never miss an important call with Codafone. And a 22-piece master mechanic multi-drive socket set from True Value Hardware Stores with combined value and personal service in over 5,000 locations. And GE's rechargeable battery system. One plug-in recharger charges GE batteries up to 1,000 times, now in gift packs in all popular sizes. And Simonize, the first great name in car waxes. Available in free soft and liquid form, there are shines, and there are salmonized shines. And long-lasting Lucite house paint from DuPont. Forms a tough seal to resist cracking and peeling, plus Lucite brushes for professional results. And Gum Out Carburetor Cleaner. Helps keep your car free from slow starts, bucking and stalling, in the tank and on the linkage. Gum Out helps make your car a smooth performer. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Max Game PM, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.